Hello everyone, welcome back to another Doctor Who video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about, about some news items. But before we get into it, if you could do me a teeny tiny little favour and click that subscribe button, I'd be ever so grateful. We are trying to get to 13,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. At the time I'm recording this, we're less than 50 subscribers away from 12,300. So if you could click that subscribe button, I'd be ever so grateful. Also, go follow me on Twitter as I discuss Doctor Who regularly over there. But with that said, let's get into the news items. So the first one is that Mandip Gill was recently interviewed for an episode of The One Show alongside Tom Felton, Draco Malfoy, in Harry Potter, where she revealed a couple of details about the centenary special, most notably that it'll be her last episode. It will be Jodie Whittaker's final episode. Will it be yours? It will be mine. <gasps> well, not forever, because who oh. knows <laughs> in the world of Doctor Who. Oh. But we, yeah. It definitely comes to a, com an end in, yeah. in that episode, but not forever, because who <laughs> knows? And that she, in fact, doesn't know who the 14th Doctor is. Do you know who will be the next Doctor after Jodie? Uh, and will you have a role in the 60th anniversary? <laughs> they don't tell me anything. No? No. Which makes sense. However, the way she answers the question has led people to wonder, maybe she does know more than she's letting on. Personally, I don't think there's a lot to that. I think she's just doing a like a generic answering of a question on a TV show. I don't think there's a lot more to it than that. I could be wrong and she could know the whole time who the 14th Doctor is, but I think it's fairly likely that she just doesn't know. But an interesting interview nonetheless. And yeah, like I said, it confirms what we already thought that Mandit was leaving alongside everyone else in the centenary. Next up, we've had another round of speculation as to when the 14th Doctor will be revealed with TV Zone throwing their hat in the ring saying, this is pure speculation. But Saturday 14th of May sounds like a good date for the new Doctor Who to be revealed during halftime of the FA Cup final. And I agree with this. Not only is it a major sporting event that's going to be broadcast simultaneously on both BBC and ITV, so BBC will want a reason for people to watch it on BBC as opposed to ITV, but also it's literally the 14th. Like, the day could not be more perfect. And, as we're going to be getting into in a minute, filming stuff seems to be well underway, or at least stuff seems to be in motion for RTD2, so they can't keep stuff secret forever. So if there is going to be a new Doctor reveal, then it makes sense for it to be around now as opposed to any time like later this year, I suppose, which some people have speculated. Speaking of said news, essentially this person called Loki Bluebird has claimed that opening scenes from the first episode of the new era are going to be filming on my street in early June. In a meeting we had with producers, they said they would start filming a week or so before they come to us. So that's very interesting in itself. And then someone asked, you know, is this true? And then they linked this, which is an image of what looks to be a request from Bad Wolf to use their property to film or at least a notifier of them filming in their area. It says, obviously you can see there the Bad Wolf header, but then it also says, we had a very successful technical Reese yesterday, and as mentioned in our previous letters, the purpose of the Reese is to establish the requirements of each department to ensure all arrangements are in place prior to the filming day. Over the coming weeks, we will gather this information and pass it on to you in further letters. What we have discovered from our Reese yesterday is that the time we require on blanked out address for obvious reasons for filming has increased due to the complexity of the logistics to film the scenes. We would now be looking to film on the street for five days, currently scheduled for Friday the 3rd of June, Monday the 6th of June, Tuesday the 7th of June, Wednesday the 8th of June, and Thursday the 9th of June. This is all night filming, finishing in the early hours of the morning, with preparations happening on the street during the day. Our filming activity will be noisy. We will have various action vehicles driven up and down the street. We will have soldiers holding and firing blanks from replica firearms. We will have special effect fire and smoke from action vehicles that will be parked across the street. There will be a controlled vehicle explosion planned and overseen by trained, certified professional effects team. There will be actors and extras shouting as per their dialogue in the scenes. There will be at least two lifting machines that will be rigged with film lighting to light the street at night we will have approximately 100 crew and extras for filming for the above work there will be a road closure in place and we would be looking to move all resident vehicles off address blanked again and we are looking into nearby alternative parking so yeah this is very interesting for a couple of reasons obviously first of all big action scenes explosions i don't know many other Bad Wolf productions that would fit that description other than Doctor Who. Also, military and military vehicles does kind of imply a return of a unit fully fledged in the Russell era. We know that 
Russell liked using a unit as kind of, well, a main military force that could be used during Alien Incursion during his era, and I think they could be playing a similar role here. This is apparently for an opening scene, so it'd be interesting to see how this vectors in, if this is true, and this is for Doctor Who, which, I mean, the letter, from what I can see, looks legit. Like, all of the, the address lines up, the header looks legit, everything looks legitimate. So yeah, this is very exciting, and it confirms, they said, as I said before, they're filming the week before, so that would be like end of May. So yeah, it confirms May filming, which is very, very exciting. But that is all we have time for. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the news, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you later. Shout out to Debs Iona, Shane Smith, Ree Caffin, Seb Lowndes, Jay Monroe, Hash Andy Coot, Patrick Mewson, Simon Ashley, Steve Zaffaro, Andrew Townsend, Alex Robbins, Michael Dykes, Paul Bryden, Sam Yates, Michael Rhodes, Jerry the Meerkat, Heretic, Bibliotecaria Nerd, Cameron Jefferson, John M, Meta Hoovian, Ben Freeman. If you want to become a member, feel free to do so. It really helps out. You get exclusive posts, shout outs in every video, and even your own badge and custom emojis to use.